Hello, this is I Am Asparagus, or if you know me on Face Hunts, Thinkser279. Uh, this tutorial is uh, by Hawkeye Hawk, who um, just told me to do this. He gave me the permission to do this. It's his way of uh, doing uh, the NPC spawns, the zombie. And um, instead of having random spawn time, it chooses random spawn points. I'll demonstrate now, hopefully. Okay, so if you listen. The first thing you're going to need is an NPC underscore zombie. Or any NPC you want, doesn't matter. Place him in the map. Okay, and then you need. You will want an NPC underscore template underscore maker. Go ahead and place that in the map as well. <coughs> After that. You will need about four if you want a good spread out spawn point. Info underscore sorry. Info underscore NPC underscore spawn underscore destination. And you want to place one of those. We will add more. And um that is about it. That's all you need. And uh right, the first thing you need to do, you head over to your NPC underscore zombie. You name him zombie underscore zero one, for example. Him. and then you go into the flags and you see where it says template NPC you'll tick that just apply that and you can leave him now okay uh, this info underscore NPC underscore spawn underscore destination if you come into that and you change its name to spawn underscore zero one apply that and that's all you have to do for that and then what you do you want to bring this to where you want your zombies to spawn and then duplicate them. So you can do that while you've selected it. You hold shift. Oh, sorry. You hold shift, click and drag. And that'll duplicate it with the same entity name as well. So I'm just going to drag four of these around my map. So one, two, three, four. And then you come into the properties of your NPC underscore maker. And you set start disabled to no. You have frequency. This is uh, how many seconds you want a zombie to be made. So I'm going to set this to three seconds, so it doesn't reasonably quickly. Uh, max live NPC. So that's how many zombies can be alive at one time from this spawn point. I'm going to set that to 20. Uh, name of template NPC. You're going to set this to your spawn underscore zero one, which is your info underscore NPC underscore template under sorry spawn underscore destination. There we go. Okay. Apply that. Now what you do here, oh god that's wrong, sorry. Name of template NPC is your zombie. Sorry about that, I'm just a bit carried away. Name of template NPC is zombie underscore zero one. Then here you have name of destination group, which is spawn underscore zero one. You apply that. Then here it says visible, visible to player, select no. What that does, should the NPC try to spawn at a destination that the player can see? So you don't really want a zombie to appear out of nowhere, do you? So you're going to tick that no, so it'll only spawn at the points where the player isn't looking. You can set distance to player to whatever you want. Uh, it could be yes or no, which uh, nearest or farthest distance to the player. Apply that. Uh, no flags to tick. No, nope. and that is actually it. You are ready. But first, because the thing is about this map. I can see all four spawn points. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my node draw texture here and I'm just going to create a little wall around each of these which is 128 units high just so I can't see them. Oh, a little tip for making walls. When you're making walls and you want to have them like a room or something, don't leave them like that if your room's on the inside. Always use the vertex manipulator and bring the corners in so touch them like that. So you won't have no textures on the outside. So it can look like that, which looks a hell of a lot better and more presentable. If I do say so myself. Right, 
Let's have one of those. Right, so I'm just going to copy and paste one of these around each NPC spawn point. When you're in top down view and you wish to flip an object vertically, what you have to do is just press Ctrl and I. And if you wish to flip it horizontally, like that, just uh, press Ctrl and L. So then I can go ahead and select both of those now. Press over, Control L, and that flipped them around for me. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and run this map, and it should hopefully work. Let's make sure there's no errors or anything. Lighting's okay. Everything's fine in the compile log. Okay, I'm just going to go in game and test this. I'll see you in a second. Fuck. It didn't work. But don't despair. I actually know why it didn't work. It's because I'm an idiot and I didn't change one of the values. So uh, if you just follow me back over to the hammer editor, I'll show you what one it was. Right. I cocked up. Uh, nothing ever goes right in the tutorial. This is still going up. But, um, yeah, the value I forgot to uh, change was in the NPC maker. You want to set the number of NPCs. I'll show, I'll tell you the description for it. Number of NPCs that will spawn before this spawner is exhausted. So that means it's set to one at the minute. That means it could spawn one zombie, and then this gets removed from the map. So I'm going to set that to 100. Apply that. Run the map again. Right, I'm just going to go test this again, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, here we are, back in game. A zombie. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, so I'll just hover up here for a bit. Or even create some NPCs. There we go, one. Two. There we go, two behind there. Two behind there. Two behind there. Now what you're obviously going to have to do is you're going to have to set up uh, the entity info underscore node around your map and uh, place these at corners like here, and here, and there. And one in the middle of the map. And that will let the zombies walk about freely instead of having to wait for me to walk about. But um, it worked. So uh, if you have any suggestions for a new tutorial, or um, you want to know anything about the Valve Hammer, um, hit me up, send me a message, and uh, I'll try to answer it to the best of my capabilities. Uh, this is it for now. After testing it twice in game, and um, I will see you in the next tutorial hopefully. See you later.